Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com, and today we're going to talk about lip biting habits and the sequelae that come um, after that. And which comes first, the chicken or the egg, I always like to say. So in this situation, yes, this patient is lip biting, but she's probably lip biting because she's got overjet. So if you got rid of the overjet, the lip biting would probably go away. But there are patients that don't have overjet um, and they do lip bite and that's a different story. So there are different appliances that help with lip biting. They're called lip bumpers. Uh, sometimes they're made as one unit. Sometimes you have to, the lab will send two bands and then the um, little bow and you have to hook it together to tie it together with a steel tie. But it's usually not necessary unless it's just a chronic lip biting habit that happens, um, not because of the bite, right? And then you should probably put one in. But in this case, I would do a SAF and potentially do some type of appliance to help grow the lower jaw and close the diastema up top and that should solve the problem. All right, thanks so much.